Hello and welcome to today's Beyond Trust presentation. This presentation is about the integration between password safe and the secure remote access tools, such as remote support or privileged remote access and the integration benefits. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify a bit of nomenclature. First, password safe, Beyond Trust PAM flagship product is abbreviated with PWS. SRA stands for Secure Mode Access. It's one of the product pillars. And there's two solutions that fall in that category. First, we have remote support, our service desk or help desk remote access solution. And the second one is PRA or Privileged Remote Access, a solution that was specifically made with vendor and contractor access use cases in mind. And by the way, without the need for VPN. Quick look at the agenda here for this entire session. We're gonna start with looking at some of the integration value aspects. Why is it important? Why is it useful to you? After that, we're gonna do a remote support and password safe integration demo, how it looks in action. After that, we're going to do a privileged remote access and password safe integration demo. And at the very end, I'm going to walk you through how the integration is actually set up. All right, let's have a look at some of the integration value aspects that I wanted to highlight. And first, let's have a look at the security benefits. For example, uh, just a basic important value aspect is that if you use both products in conjunction, password safe, integrated with remote support, credentials that are used in remote sessions are centrally stored in the password safe vault. That means they're protected through encryption at rest and transit. Authentication is protected with multi-factor and many other different hardening and security aspects. Just that fact allows you to meet, to, allows you to meet many uh, regulations or regulatory compliances and even cyber insurance requirements. With the integration, credentials can be injected at runtime as part of remote sessions. For example, when you have a UAC prompt or if you need to log on to an endpoint with the integration, we can inject those credentials without exposing a password. That also means that the credentials are protected in the password safe vault. They are protected from accidental or intended misuse, right? The users don't know the passwords anymore. They don't see the passwords anymore. They don't have to copy and paste them anymore. When we vault credentials, Ideally, and that's certainly our recommendation, is to frequently rotate credentials, especially the privileged credentials, meaning you want to rotate them based on a schedule, but also every time they were used. And that ultimately allows you to achieve a higher level of security by protecting credentials against past hash attacks that take advantage of stale passwords and extract them from memory. And ultimately, if you have a PAM solution that you use to store many or all of the different privileged credentials that are in use in your organization, you have a single point for visibility, a single point for audit for all the managed credentials that are used either internally by service desk representatives or even external vendors and contractors that, that use them to access your systems. I can also think of a few couple of usability benefits for the end users, your service desk reps or your external vendors and contractors that are using remote support or PRA. Now having the integration in place creates actually like a single sign-on experience for users. I mean, think about it. They only need one single credential that is to their personal account, ideally just a standard account in Active Directory or in Azure AD. And 
they use that to authenticate to Beyond Trust, to Remote Support or PRA. After that, as they're accessing the different systems that they're allowed to access, as they have to authenticate with a privileged account, they will be able to inject those credentials directly from the vault without copy and pasting them, without looking them up, and ultimately that saves them time. And it also reduces the responsibility uh, with maintaining and, and, and storing those passwords, multiple passwords for different systems. And all of that is possible without VPN. Our remote support, our PRA technologies don't require a VPN for remote connectivity. And the tool can be accessed through a local console that's available for Windows, Mac, or even Linux desktops. But there's also a browser-based console that can be used, makes it very easy to access it from, from any system, from anywhere. And we also have mobile apps for both applications. So it ultimately increases the productivity because your users can connect more often, they can access the tool easier and are not bound to certain limitations or requirements. Let's talk about the password safe and SRA integration, how it works, how it's implemented. The purpose of the integration is obvious. It's there to remove the need to share or expose credentials to your users by automatically injecting them from the password vault within the different secure remote access remote sessions. So that could be a service desk technician having a USC prompt with an end user system or a vendor that needs to authenticate to a server to perform maintenance, install updates. And the way we integrate both systems, password safe and remote support is through a software program that's called the Endpoint Credential Manager, ECM. It essentially interfaces with both products using REST APIs. The requirements for the ECM are fairly conservative. It requires a Windows client or server OS at the point when I looked it up, it was Windows Vista actually was the, the minimum system there, but only 64-bit architectures. You can see it requires .NET 4.5 or later and a two gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of memory in, in some disk space, potentially for, for log files, but 80 gigabytes is more than enough. With the ECM in place, it enables the SRA products to pull credentials from password safe. So a user that is logged on to an SRA product can access the approved credentials in password safe. So when you log on to a Windows client, or you have a UAC prompt that's part of a support session, it will suggest the appropriate credentials that are available for the system. So for example, the local administrator or the service desk's privileged account in Active Directory. And very similar on the vendor side, uh, just uh, obviously from a vendor perspective. So the vault then suggests the credentials, but also takes care of the seamless injection of the credentials in the username and password field. Ultimately, again, this means that the credentials are stored and owned by password safe. 